I read a few verses from uh, Psalm 40. Psalm 40 and verses 1 to 10. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Blessed or happy is the man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to us would. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire, mine ears hast thou opened. Burnt offering and sin offering hast thou not required. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me, I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is written within my heart. I have preached righteousness in the congregate, great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips. O Lord, thou knowest, I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. Uh, Psalm 44 verses 20 and 21 If we have forgotten the name of our God or stretched out our hands to a strange God shall not God search this out? For he knoweth the secrets of the heart. Psalm 45 My heart is indicting a good matter I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured forth into thy lips. Therefore God hath blessed thee forever. Gird thy sword upon thy thigh, O most mighty, with thy glory and thy majesty. And in thy majesty ride prosperously because of truth and meekness and righteousness and thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things. Thine arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies, whereby the people fall under thee. Thy throne, O God, is for ever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest iniquity. Therefore God, thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. It's speaking of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ here. All thy garments spell or smell of myrrh and aloes and cassia out of the ivory palaces whereby they have made thee glad. King's daughters were among thy honourable women. Upon thy right hand did stand the queen in gold of Ophir. Hearken, O daughter, and consider, and incline thine ear. Forget also thine own people, and thy father's house. So shall the king greatly desire thy beauty, for he is thy lord, and worship thou him. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favour. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is of wrought gold. She shall be brought unto the king in raiment of needlework. The virgins, her companions that follow her, shall be brought unto thee. With gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought. They shall enter into the king's palace. Instead of thy fathers shall be thy children, whom thou may, uh, mayest make princes in all the earth. I will make thy name to be remembered, 
in all generations. Therefore shall the people praise thee forever and ever. Psalm 49 verses 1 to 8. Hear this, all ye people, give ear, all ye inhabitants of the world. Bow low, uh, both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. I will incline mine ear to a parable. I will open my dark saying upon the heart. Uh, therefore should I fear... Wherefore should I fear in the days of evil, when the iniquity of my heels shall compass me about? They that trust in their wealth, and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their soul is precious, and it ceaseth forever." And this is a message to the rich now. Uh, Psalm 49 verses 6 to 20. They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their soul is precious, and it ceaseth forever. That he should still live forever and not see corruption, for he seeth that wise men die, likewise the fool, and the brutish person perish, and leave their wealth to others. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man being in honour abideth not, he is like the beasts that perish. This, their way, is their folly. Yet their prosperity, posterity, sorry, approve their saying, Selah, like sheep, they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed upon them, and the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning. And their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me, Selah. Be not thou afraid when one is made rich, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. Though while he, li uh, he lived, he blessed his soul, and men will praise thee when thou doest well to thyself. He shall go to the generation of his fathers, they shall never see light. Man that is in honour and understandeth not is like the beasts that perish. Psalm 50 verse 1 The mighty God, even the Lord, hath spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun under the going down thereof. Out of Zion the perfect perfection of beauty God has shined. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very uh, tempestuous around, around about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is judge himself. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, and I will testify against thee. I am God, even thy God. I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices or thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me. I will take no bullock out of thy house, nor he goats out of thy folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine, and the fullness thereof. I will eat the flesh of bulls. I will 
eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats, offer unto God thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most High, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. But unto the wicked God saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction, and castest my words behind thee? When thou sawest a thief, then thou contendest with him, and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thine own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silent. Thou uh, thoughtest that I was uh, altogether such a, and one as thyself, but I will reprove thee, and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoso, whoso offereth praise glorifieth me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of God. You and I need the salvation of God. You and I need forgiveness for our sins. And that's why I'm here today. I want you to know that your soul can be saved by faith alone in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. He was buried. But praise God, the third day He rose again according to the Scriptures. I wonder, is your soul saved? Are you on your way to heaven? Are you still on that broad road that leads down to hell and destruction? There's no need for that. You can have eternal life through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes, the Lord Jesus Christ is the only one that can be our Saviour. The question was asked a long time ago, what must I do to be saved? The answer was believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's either heaven or hell at the moment of death, what will it be for you? Is determined by what you do with the Lord Jesus Christ. As I said before, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Salvation can be yours through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. What you need to do is come in repentance toward God. That's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner. And then put your faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. As I said before, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you, and thanks for listening. Psalm 37 and verse 1. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily or truly thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him that prospereth, prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. 
the wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. In other words, the day of his judgment is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and the inheritance, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume into smoke. Into smoke shall they consume away. The wicked boweth and payeth not again. But the righteous soweth mercy and, and giveth. For such as be blessed, blessed of him shall inherit the earth. And they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now am old, and yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful, and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land, and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart, none of his steps shall slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous, and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord, and keep his way, and he shall exhort thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power, and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together, the end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. I wonder, are you trusting in the Lord? Are you trusting in your own wisdom and own might and own uh, thoughts concerning the way of salvation? You see, the Lord Jesus Christ is the only Saviour. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. He wants to save you, and He wants to save me. You and I are heading down to hell, into the judgment of God, without Jesus Christ as our Saviour. And I'm here to tell you that your soul can be saved as a result of faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. I want to preach a message now on seeking the Lord. Bible says, Seek ye the Lord. And this is Psalm 14, verses 1 to 3, to the chief musician, a psalm of David, the fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt, they have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. They are all gone aside, they are altogether become filthy. 
There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Isaiah 55, verses 6 and 7. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. God wants to forgive us of all of our sins. The only way we can be forgiven is through the precious shed blood of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, which he shed for us upon the cross. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried, but praise God, the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. Hosea 10 verses 12 to 15. Sow to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy, break up your fellow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord, till he come and rain righteousness upon you. Ye have ploughed wickedness, ye have reaped iniquity, ye have eaten the fruit of lies, because thou didst trust in thy way. In the multitude of thy mighty men, therefore shall a tumult arise among thy people, and all thy fortresses shall be spoiled. And shall man spoiled Bethel? Bethabel, in the day of battle, the mother was dashed in pieces upon her children. So shall, shall Bethel do unto you because of your great wickedness. In the morning shall the king of Israel utterly be cut off. Amos uh, chapter 5 verses 4 to 8 For thus saith the Lord unto the house of Israel, Seek ye me, and ye shall live. But seek not Bethel, nor enter into Gilgal, and pass not to Beersheba. For Gilgal shall surely go into captivity, and Bethel shall come to naught. Seek the Lord, and ye shall live. Yes, it's time to seek the Lord before it's forever and eternally too late. And you die and finish up going down to that terrible place called hell where there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. It says here, Seek the Lord and ye shall live, lest he break out fire like fire in the house of Joseph and devour it, and there be none to quench it in Bethel. Ye who turn judgment to wormwood and leave off righteousness in the earth, Seek him that maketh the seven stars of Orion, and turneth the shadow of death into the morning, and maketh the day dark with night, that calleth for the waters of the sea, and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. Orion is a, a prominent constellation that's one of the brightest and most familiar sights in the night sky. Straddling the celestial equator, it can be seen from all locations on Earth. Named after the great hunter in Greek mythology, it contains two first, mag uh, two first magnitude stars, many other bright stars, a famous belt, spectacular nebulae, some impressive multitude, uh, multiple stars and fine open clusters. Its most famous inhabitant, the Orion Nebula, is one of the most spectacular deep sky objects in the sky. Orion can be seen from all locations on Earth, reminding us of that salvation is offered to the whole of humanity. God wants us to be saved. God wants us to be in heaven. If we die without Christ, we'll be in hell. I'm here to warn you to flee from the wrath which is to come. God is angry with the wicked every day, and yet your soul can be saved as a result of repentance toward God. That is a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you're a sinner, and then put your faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Acts 17, verses 24 to 27. God hath made the world, and God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, 
dwelleth not in temples made with hands, neither is worship with men's hands, as though he needed anything, seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things, and hath made of one blood all nations of men, for to dwell on all the face of the earth, and hath determined the times before appointed, and the bounds of their habitation, that they should seek the Lord. And that's what God wants you to do. Seek the Lord. If happily they might feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. Romans 3 verses 9 to 12. What then? Are we better than they? No, in no wise or in no way. For we have before proved both Jews and Gentiles that they are all under sin. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. They are all gone out of the way, they are together, become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. So, as we saw in Romans 3.11, it says, um, There is none that seeketh after God. And Isaiah 55.6 says, Seek ye the Lord, while he may be found, call ye upon him, while he is near. In our unsaved state, we do, don't seek God, but God has made the first move in sending his Son. Luke 10, uh, 19 verse 10 says, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Do you realize that you're lost if you're not saved? If you're not a child of God, you're heading for the judgment of God in that terrible place called hell. That's a terrible place. We read of a man, a rich man, and in hell he lift up his eyes being in torments. He cried for a drop of water to be put upon his tongue and he wasn't granted that water. You see, there's no water in hell. There's no fire engines in hell. There's nothing that can quench that fire. God doesn't want us to go there. That's why the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. But is he your Saviour? You need to make him your saviour through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. If we die without Christ, we're in trouble. We're in big trouble. And we're in trouble with God. And when God gets angry, look out. No one can stand in his presence when he gets angry. You see, the, the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God must understand our great need of salvation before the Lord God Almighty. We need forgiveness for our sins. That forgiveness is only possible through the sacrifice of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, which he made once for all upon the cross of Calvary. Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. He was buried, but praise God, the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures. Your soul can be saved as a result of faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Don't leave it. Another second, you need forgiveness for your sins so that you can be in heaven at the moment of death. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now. Get right with God. There are two requirements. Repentance toward God. That is a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner, be honest before God, agree with him that you're a sinner, and then put your faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, in whom we have redemption, through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. If you're interested in this, look me up. YouTube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you and thanks for listening.